Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog episode on my channel. Today is moving edition, vlog moving edition, and I'm coming to you in the cutest, most fashionable OOTD with, I think I'm going on eight days with my hair right now. I planned to look a lot better on camera for this, but I just ran out of time. And you know, I think that's just more real to just come on here like this. So this is who you're getting. If you guys saw our video, our Q and A about our move, Tyler and I are moving to Nashville with our kids and Scout. And we had some friends that needed to rent um, a house because they're renovating their house. And so they are gonna be staying in our house. And while our house is beautiful, most of it, as you can see, there are a couple of bathrooms. Well, this house has seven bathrooms. There were two bathrooms in question that were pretty bad. One was the boys' bathroom upstairs and the other was our master bathroom. So I'm gonna share with you what we've been doing to update this house to get it ready for our renters. And we are going to start with, dun, 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 the bathrooms. So we've done nothing to this bathroom since we bought it. It's the same that it's always been, same light fixtures, same everything. I always envisioned ripping everything out and kind of designing our dream bathroom in here. There's no storage because it's these beautiful pedestal sinks and they actually left this like armoire for us. So anyway, we've just kind of like left it as is. Since we're moving in a month and a half, um, I'm not gonna gut it, but I do wanna fix a few things. Like for example, I have scrubbed and I've had professionals scrub the shower to get the black grout to not be black. Tiles are popping up when I stand in the shower and I lift my foot, a tile comes with me. This was the nicest bathroom that Tyler and I had ever had in the course of our marriage because we moved from San Diego and LA where all the houses are like 80 years old. And so all the bathrooms are just like, you live in these little beach bungalows and they're all old and kind of messed up. But that was just normal. Like we didn't know any better and we're renting. So it's like, who cares? So anyway, when we moved in here, that's why we weren't like, we have to fix the bathroom. Cause we're like, oh, we have a shower that has a glass door on it instead of a curtain. And when the lady that renovated this bathroom, when she did it, she used all restoration hardware, like the mirrors are restoration, the uh, sinks and the faucets, I think the lights. So she did a good job. You know, it's just over 20 years old at this point. And it's just, you know, needs some updating. So what we're doing is we're switching out the lights and the light fixture, we're gutting the whole shower. We're gonna redo the shower. I'm leaving the tub for now. We're gonna paint. And I'm actually not even doing a vanity because everything I was looking at was gonna take forever to come in and it just made the project way bigger. So that's what we're gonna do. And today they're literally, the hope is that they're able to tape it off from like here to here. So that way I still have our little vanity thing here, our armoire. We have one sink and we'll have the toilet and then we won't have access to the shower or the bath, which is fine. So we'll see. Hopefully they don't rip the shower out and find a big problem underneath. Cause you know that can happen when you do these sorts of things. So I just got to Benjamin Moore. I'm gonna go in there and look at some paint. I'm gonna get a couple paint samples. We're gonna test them out and see which color I like. I'm trying to decide between white and then leaning into the green because I'm not getting rid of the tile because I just don't have time to rip out all of that tile and put in new. And I don't wanna necessarily pay for it right now because we're not gonna be living there, you know? Okay, so I brought my fan and I got the actual paint chips and then I got little samples of each one. So. We have this new one I just saw in the store. I wanted to try. So that one's Pale Vista. Gray Mist, which is what our walls are currently in the rest of the house. Cloud White is what we have on the trim in the house. 
which could be interesting to paint all of it that color. And then let's see, we have sour apple. This is if I wanna go green and match the tile. It's kind of a bold move. And then we also have this one, which I think is called wispy green. Those are the two greens right here. So I'm gonna go home and paint some of these samples on, see what I think about it, close my eyes and dream. And then we'll go from there. These are also good to do touch-ups too. Now, of course, like any bathroom remodel, it doesn't always go according to plan. So we knew that we were gonna have to open up the ceiling underneath the bathtub. See, here's the thing. I didn't wanna rip out all of the tile in that bathroom. If I had taken out the tub, I would've had to redo the tile. It is a nice porcelain tub. It doesn't really have any damages on it, so we wanna keep it. But underneath the tub, the tub itself is not draining. So there's a clog and because it's an old house and the pipes here are all those like old iron, you know, metal pipes that are very tricky a hundred years later, they couldn't clear the clog. So they needed to take out the drain and replace it with a new updated T trap or something like that. Well, of course they couldn't access the T trap to replace it unless they opened up the ceiling. So they opened up the ceiling. Mr. Plumber hired some guys junior plumber junior plumber was not the best of the best he didn't really put down drop cloths he didn't really protect the house when he ripped open my ceiling and i came home to quite a mess luckily mr plumber the owner of the plumbing company decided to make it right he did not charge us they actually did do a great job on the plumbing part it was just like the opening of the ceiling part that had some issues okay so the plumbing has been done <sighs> Kind of a nightmare. I'm gonna show you guys how it's supposed to be taped off because Miguel is now patching for me. This is what it's supposed to look like. Good job, Miguel. You know how to tape off a room. This is what it should look like. Now there's no hole. Anyway, just wanted to give credit where credit was due. He covered the art. Round of applause. Thank you, Miguel. We closed up the ceiling, we got everything put back together, and then we realized we have an electrical issue. Huh. Mr. Junior Plumber cut a few corners and he also cut a few wires. So of course, on this lovely Tuesday morning, you know, you guys got to see the drama of plumber problem that I had, the plumber who shall not be named, who ripped open the ceiling, did not cover the floors, it was a whole thing. Well, after I thought we got it all squared away, I noticed that our Christmas tree, the outlet that our Christmas tree was in, our Christmas tree stopped working that day. And I'm like, why doesn't this work? And our Wi-Fi turned off. I'm like, why is Wi-Fi not working? Well, I realized this outlet right there and these lights right here and right here were just not at all working. And I was like, why aren't they working? I literally was trying to figure this out for like a month. After lots of research, Mr. Electrician realized that Mr. Plumber, Junior Plumber, sliced open a wire when he was cutting into my ceiling. And then he left it there while we closed it all back up. Called the company, the plumber company, they talked to the plumbers, one of which had been let go. And the assistant plumber who was here said, you know, I did see open wires and I asked the main plumber if we cut that on accident. And he said, no, those are already there. It doesn't go to anything. So they never told me that they cut the wires open and they closed the ceiling up and got it all perfect. And there's been open wires that are cut right down the middle, just sitting in that ceiling. So we had them reopen the ceiling. They found the wire and they actually blowtorch the wire. Just look at this. Okay, we have Clint, the electrician from York Electric. He's gonna tell me how we fix these old knob and tube wires. So you found where they cut it. I did, and we splashed it. 
Dang. Just show a quick demonstration how we. Okay. So you cut the cord and you twist the wire. Yep, twist the wires together. And you pop the flap and lift the snap. <laughs> you never saw Troop Beverly Hills growing up, Clint? No. <laughs> So this is just kind of pretty, this is an example. So we twist it together tight, right? Uh-huh, oh my gosh. You guys are gonna give me a heart attack. You used a torch? We take, it's called a heat shrink. That slides over. Dang. Whoa. See it shrink on its connection? Dang. Oh my goodness. <gasps> They're on! They're on. Yay! These lights have been off since before Christmas. So the, the electrician came today. I got up in there, opened the ceiling back up, found the wires, and now it has to all be repatched. But the lights are on, which is the most exciting part. Thank you, Lord. We move in three days, two and a half days. I still have a lot to pack. This was by far the biggest house that we have packed. In the previous homes, they've been a lot smaller. We didn't have kids. And then we moved into this house. And when you move into a giant house, you, you fill it up. It's just what happens. And let me just give you my first free tip. Let your husband order a dumpster to put out on your driveway. And then you just start throwing stuff away. That is what we have been doing. Either donating or if it's broken or just trash or whatever, we're just like, get it out of here. We are taking it to the dump, which is on our driveway. <laughs> And it's very convenient. It's moving day, and of course, it's icy everywhere. I took some of the old rugs we had, some of the outdoor rugs, and threw them down. So uh, we have some firm ground to step on. Hopefully no one's slipping. But uh, here we go. Let's see if this works out. Hopefully it all fits. There were two things I really wanted to see before we moved um, out of this house. And I had, was just kind of, they were silly things. I was just praying. I was like, Lord, I'm gonna miss this house so much. I love this house so much. I just, I always envisioned raising all of our kids here. And, but I'm like, okay, Lord, we're moving. We feel like you're calling us. This is gonna be good. I would just love to see Brody walk. Brody is 16 months and he hadn't really walked yet. And I would love to see it snow here one last time. Our entire driveway is ice and Tyler has been shoveling it. <sighs> Nothing like moving on an ice day. A nice storm here in Tulsa. And I looked at the weather and I did not see any snow on the forecast, but I'm like, hey, you know, in Tulsa, if you don't like the weather, you just wait five minutes because it usually changes. And sure enough, God brought an ice storm through. It was actually a snowstorm, but it's been like, you know, in the negatives for a few days. And Brody walked. Yay! It has been such a joy to see him walk. I don't know what it is. I'm just like, oh, I would just want to see. It's like a send off. Like, my baby was born here. He got to do all the fun things of becoming a little boy and he is like achieving this amazing milestone that I've kind of been freaking out because he's pretty late to walking. Just goes to show every kid is on their own timeline and eventually they will get it. You just have to give them patience. It was just a God wink that God was like, here, I know you've wanted this and I want to bless you with that. And so for my mama heart, it was just very sweet to be able to see that. What do you think? It's moving day. Uh, it's big. Big truck, huh? No, no, it's a, no, it's a front loader truck. It's a front loader truck? I don't know if it's a front loader truck. It's definitely large and in charge. But what's on the roads? Icy. It's icy, huh? They're going to slip. I hope not. So, I thought our only problem was that the roads were icy. But this one just woke up in a pile of throw up. Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> but the guys are moving everything out and it's going well. The move part's going well. It's just, I don't know what's gonna happen in the next 24 hours. I'm excited about the move. I'm sad to leave our friends. We've had people stop by the house just to give us hugs. We had a going away party a couple of nights ago and it's just been really sweet to get to have those final memories. And it's just been a really good couple of days. <sighs> it's 12.10 in the morning. I'm taking the back brace off. Oof. This has been quite possibly the most exhausting day of our life. Ice. No, I mean, rain. great weather for a move. Ice, you know, rain, freezing rain all day. 
Diarrhea. Yeah, well, if you're gonna move, you want your kids to be sick. No naps. While you're doing it. TV all day. <laughs> <laughs> Swear watched shows all day because we were just barely surviving. We are all packed, everything is in the truck. Well, everything that fit. We're not bringing outdoor, our barbecue. Our outdoor dining, but it was covered in an inch of ice. Yeah, So they, really could, they wouldn't put it in there. Anyway, we're gonna hope for the best tomorrow. Stop. And Tyler and Sawyer and Scout are driving and Brody and I are flying. Scout's driving to Sawyer yeah. and I are just riding. Just praying that it was just a weird 12 hour, maybe 24 hour thing and no one else gets, and we're all gonna be fine tomorrow. It's gonna be great. And the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about was kind of just like a walk down memory lane. This house, even this part, has changed so much since when we walked in that first time. And a lot of you guys followed our moving process here to Tulsa and how we picked Tulsa and how we picked our house and all those things. I wanted to like have a little before and after kind of looking through each of the rooms and just have like a little piece of Tulsa in this video where I can always look back and remember all the beautiful things that we did in this house. And even like other projects that I have done in Tulsa, I did three, four projects here, which was amazing. Four projects and two kids in three years. That's kind of a lot. So I just feel like Tulsa has been so good to us. It's been such a fun season creatively and as a mom. I feel like I've grown so much as a person here and becoming a mom in this city. And I'm just so grateful for all that Tulsa has been for our family. We walked through the house. Good night, house. We said, I love you. We prayed over it. I cried over it. It feels good. It's a good house. It is a good house. And I'm excited to step in to this new season going to Nashville. It's gonna be good. Good night, house. Hello, Nashville. <laughs>